Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. <laughs> Let me pull this up. So, I'm Chanel. Welcome back to my channel. Asha TV, YouTube, wherever you're seeing this. I'm so happy to be back here with you guys today and to give you this little daily forecast read. So, I hope that this has been helpful for you, you guys. Um, because you know, I just started this on Friday, <laughs> so I guess I'll see as I continue how things are just gonna flow. So today is Tuesday, and Tuesdays are ruled by Mars. Very action action oriented today. I know I used to do my laundry on Tuesdays because I don't like folding clothes, so <laughs> I would use Tuesday energy to get that done. So I think I used to clean, deep clean too, or something. Or maybe just clean the house. I'm not sure. Either way, I would use it for a cleaning day to exert and utilize that energy of myself or with the atmosphere, I should say. But let's see. So we're going to talk a little bit about this astrology. So Mars is in Aries still. It will be there until next year. So it's finally moving forward after being direct for what was that two months maybe i can't be certain but it is in a trine to the sun so with that energy we may be feeling very inspired to get things done make things happen we may be encouraged feeling very encouraged to learn something new or we may just learn something new attain a new teacher or maybe get in the space of teaching ourselves if that's something we're into we might feel the urge to travel somewhere go somewhere connect with other people connect with our friends and family you know this may also be us getting finding some type of spiritual practice or getting into some type of spiritual practice that we haven't it's a good day to do any type of uh, spell work, candle magic, fire magic, anything like that, if you're into that. So let's see, it is also in a sextile to the North Node. So we are, a sextile basically means that if we do the work, the work will pay off in a benevolent way, right? So we are putting action toward our goals, toward our destiny, toward our sense of self, sense of wholeness. I do want to say that the sun and Mars trying, you may come across people, experience others who upset, angry, anything like that. Also maybe some revelatory things continuing to come out in regards to the public in regards to politics, the law, things of that nature, and how it is that, that it has been affecting us on an individual level, our sense of sovereignty that we really always have. By the way, no political official can take or give you your sovereignty unless you so choose to go and operate under whatever it is that they're doing saying if you're allowing these things to affect your innate personal choices you know operating from a space of fear basically so you know but that just takes courage which aries and sagittarius has a lot of so definitely tap into that energy also we will, that can also bring any type of excessiveness or right? any type of selfishness as well especially if you're already operating from that space you may be receiving some type of I don't want a non-benevolent energy with that you know maybe learning some type of lessons on how you can make things flow a little bit easier finding the ease to help support you kind of connect with others be in your sovereignty you know it's really all about just being present and aware one second <laughs> so just a lot of fiery and passionate energy today a lot of 
inspiring energy as well so you get something started especially if it's something that you want to do long term like on your path on your journey kind of thing as well let's see so but also being able to do this from a very grounded place because the moon is still in Virgo it will be in Libra later on this evening so if there has been any kind of tension that you've been experiencing in regards to how it is really getting your heart in being able to say what it is that you need to say in a sense aligned that that's kind of you know well it's not coming to a close but you'll be able to find better ways to feel about it to think about it to perceive these things the perceptions will shift but the moon is in contact with all of the capricorn energy pluto jupiter saturn so we're really capable of making things happen getting things done especially if they're service oriented work oriented you know anything that meets your goals also helping support in fulfilling and building any routines and staying consistent with it building new structures for your life as well and a really good day to recognize what it truly means to choose love all the time you know not just I love you today, but uh, kind of like yesterday with that the beloved card, it speaks about um, choosing love, choosing the path of love. So today we may be recognizing the benefit of this, being able to move in this, in the love for ourselves the love for others around us in our life you know the love for others as well who we may work with and just being kind to them and all of those wonderful wonderful things so let me anything involved with love is a great thing so Let's see. And later on this evening, the moon will be in a opposition to Chiron. So we may be coming up on some wounding surrounding our identity and our partnerships and really moving through that, really giving, finding or experiencing the inspiration to move through that. Okay, my son had woken up. He is chilling while I finish this. So, yes, the moon will be in this this uh, connection with Chiron and us recognizing any wounds that we are still holding on to in regards to our partnerships, really coming into a space of balance within ourselves um, when it comes to how we feel and how it is that we express our feelings, you know, and not feeling like we need to um, blame but instead kind of see where things can be worked with where things can be a little bit <laughs> where things can be fair for everybody really learning how to communicate with one another right because that's sometimes a lot of issues in our relationships. We don't know how to communicate properly. So that will be coming up as well this evening. And it may not happen today, but over the next couple of days, it will. And we will recognize where it is that we are not communicating. So wherever there's tension, that's basically showing us where it is that we need to be more open to communication with others about what's going on with us, how it is that we feel, what it is that that we need for ourselves in order to feel, to really be able to just be ourselves in a sense, you know? And that is a pretty much all that I want to touch on for today with the astrology. And we are going to pull a couple of cards to see what the energy is for the day 
I am going to pull a pull a tarot card and a couple of uh, oracle cards today. So, hope you guys are doing well. That y'all had a great start to your day. Great spirit. What is it that you would like for us to take to this throughout our day? I'm sorry, I forgot to look for this. <laughs> So today we are planting new seeds. We may be gaining some new opportunities coming forward for us, but we or we may also be uh, experiencing some type of fruition with what it is that we have been working toward as well. Something coming in from that, but overall, this is more about new, new opportunities, new, new starts to what it is that we want to build, but also in regards to our values and our worthiness, our self-worth, we may also be encouraged to take a new way of going about doing things when it comes to like our routines, our family life, when it comes to dealing with our possessions, we may be attaining some new possessions. This is also, I'm feeling like that maybe somebody needs to find new ways of utilizing what it is that they have right now and possibly also getting rid of some things so that you can open up space to what it is that you have and utilize that as something new, All right? So let's see what else is here, spirit. So any ideas it is that you have kind of been sitting with, it is a good time to take action on that to start either planning or take the first step kind of thing, right? Because pinnacles, they're slow moving, they're, they are really alive. Like they, they go step by step because they know that it lasts when you do things in order. We do things as they should be seen. I don't want to say should be, but you know, if you want something to last, there has to be some type of structure, some type of order to you know, bring those ideas down and create fruition. So you may need to be very devoted to what it is that you're doing. Maybe you need to connect to a teacher who can support you in this. Maybe you are the teacher. Maybe you need to begin teaching. You know, maybe getting into some type of mystic, mystic mysticism, some type of occult a, a knowledge that'll help support you in building what it is that you're doing. Maybe uh, Pentacles for me is also the energy of conjure. You know, so perhaps that's something you are getting into. But with this also being a pinnacle, getting into taking care of yourself, your beauty, Sisterhood of the Rose speaks about beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic, and teacher. You know, so we may either be coming in contact with these people or we may be this person. But most definitely with this pinnacles card here, really get into taking care of yourself, beautifying yourself, you know, loving yourself, seeing your beauty from inside so that it can reflect outwardly, learn how, maybe you need to learn how to do this, but sometimes we don't all know how to, um, we don't all, you know, some of us don't just naturally know. So, and if that's okay, definitely take the time to learn whatever it is that you need to learn. And if you have it to teach, teach that. Don't, don't hold all the goods for yourself. You learned it for a purpose. Share the wealth. So, let's see. 
The corn. So you are abundant. You have the, the corn speaks about having bounty, and in that bounty, you have more than enough to share. So definitely connecting with people who have this. If you are this person, do that. Share your props with others. Share what you have learned. Share what you have grown into. Let others see how it is that you have built these things. Let others see and understand, in a sense, or give them a tool to help them in moving forward with that. But most definitely you are abundant you have what it is that is needed in order to sustain you to sustain your life to sustain your family to sustain those around you that you love like that's a number 10 so it's all of that is the will of fortune energy and the will of fortune basically speaks about good luck good tidings uh good karma being repaid you know all of those wonderful things and so the corn i'm going to actually read this for you guys it says the corn represents the mother of sustenance and tangible abundance this symbol represents material prosperity in a world of form that provides stability and sustenance to many there's more than enough the invitation invites us and says you planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard even in moments when you were losing faith you continue now the spirit of the corn comes to honor this and show you a bountiful harvest this is the time to reap the rewards of hard work and trust whether you whether those rewards are financial or the kind of prosperity measured in quality rather than quantity you are so blessed when this symbol appears don't forget to share your good fortune the medicine here says beware of shortcuts to your dreams or fast track being offered to you now be especially mindful of your feelings of entitlement or expectation to get something for nothing this is a time for gratitude perseverance and humility be prepared to work towards your goals and plant the seeds of your intentions consciously and respectfully. Release any insecure thoughts of scarcity, feeling that there is not enough, or worry that someone else could take what is yours. Know that the universe will always provide, but you must <laughs> but you must be in a relationship with it in order to receive. You will reap what you sow. Take heart, even if you didn't plant well and have conjured up the illusion of a drought. There's always a new season to begin again. And I wanna say something really quickly. It's important about the energy that you hold when you go about building a thing, right? Because if you build something in a space of unsurety, from a space of lack, from a space of scarcity, it's going to manifest that. That's why in there, in red, you conjured up an illusion of doubt right or, or an illusion of drought i'm sorry so what it is that you have alluded yourself to it will manifest whether it's real or not so perhaps you are in a season of drought right but in reality it's important to recognize that that was an illusion that you built something that is not true because abundance is always here it's always available it's about being open to receive it it's also about recognizing that being a truth that in needing to align your beliefs to that you know in recognizing what is true and you know you have call on your spirit guides talk to god who is your higher power talk to them connect with them you know connect with your ancestors and ask them to show you what is available to you that you can use right now it's a good time to tap into your alchemy if you are not in your harvest season at the time utilize what it is you have that is the energy of conjuring a thing that is magic that is alchemizing okay you're taking you're taking your pennies and turn them into dollars basically you know so definitely 
tap into that. Be devoted to what it is that you're building. We got the Mercury card. So Mercury right now is in Sagittarius. So you definitely maybe need to change your perspective, connect with a teacher. Those who know need to be teaching. Also expressing yourself, tapping into your creativity, really, if that if you are needing to connect with this energy if you have it. But for most it feels like that it is um harvest season for you guys. So wow, okay, that is just too many cards. So the first card that fell out is a mountain. So it you may have been climbing a mountain, you may have been really needing it's been more effort in a sense, you know. And those who haven't been have to climb the mountain, you know, it just it's some things you can't go without doing. Don't don't be an enemy of yourself and talk yourself out of it and have a perception and see things from a false state, from a false belief of being scarce when you are not, when you have everything it is that you need. And so the card that came out is the bride. So basically, if you have done the work, you will be fulfilled. If you are doing the work, if you take the time to do it, take the steps to do it, you will be fulfilled. You, some people, this may have to do with relationships, family situations. You know, if you are having anything going on within your relationship, know that things are working out for the better, you know, connect with your spirituality, connect with your soul, listen to your heart, choose love, communicate what's going on within you. You cannot build a, a relationship, a solid relationship, a fruitful relationship by holding things in that creates resistance resistance, resentment, and separation. You know, on this card, it says the bride ensures for a single person the fulfillment of their highest aims. If this is distant, a turbulent married life. This is not distant, but if you are having any type of turbulence, communicate, you know. If you are single, know that someone is coming in. And at the bottom, we have the tree. So fulfillment of your highest hope. That's good health. That is being very grounded, you know, and having, you know, just having had grown from the root of you. And if you need to, take the time to do so for yourself. You know, don't, don't have a pity party and create energy that it seems like you can't get yourself out of. Well, you can because you put yourself into it. You know? The shark is having a good time in their plane. Um, that's wonderful. <laughs> so two cards came out. It says these are affirmation cards. The first one is divine timing. Everything is timing and timing is everything. Gladly, I release my concern over to timing. I let things happen when and as they will. I trust the divine schedule makers know what they are doing. It can take a long time to reach divine middle management. Divine timing. So trust in the timing of things. Trust that your efforts that you're putting in are well worth it and they're bringing about. Because the second card you got is manifestation. So something is coming to fruition. This is either... This is, you know, either something quality, if quality, like it read in the book for the corn, or this is something material, some type of money, some type of finance, some type of thing that you have been longing for for so long. The manifestation card says, if you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy. You're holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true? Or is it that in a very practical sense, the more people you speak with about your desires, the more folks there are who know what you want and might have the means to help you make them happen. Either way, stop waiting and start manifesting. But don't use that word if you don't want to. <laughs> All right, y'all. So 
Yes, most definitely know that fulfillment in 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 hopes and wishes and all of these things are coming to the forefront. I do want to say if you need to change your perspective about what abundance means to you, it's a good time to take time to do that. Um, the energy is very supportive of that right now, surely, especially over these next two days. So sit down, take some time and see what it is that you believe about abundance, about what it means to have, to be fruitful, to be prosperous. You know, the there are two bottom cards that are sticking out here to me, sanctuary and council of light. And so it's almost as if you need to take some time to go within, reconnect to your inner child, that, that innocence energy that has, that knows no corruption, that doesn't know that something does not exist, that everything, the place that everything exists, you know, and really recognize what it is that's in front of you that can already be utilized. Tap into your creativity. I'm sure the ideas are already there if that is something that you haven't already got started on. So take some time to sit and plan it out, write it down, you know, get sure, get serious, get clear about life, about where you're going, about what it is that you want, what it is that you desire, how you want it to look, all those wonderful things, you know, and if you manifest it and this bounty is coming in, congratulations, all right? <laughs> you deserved it because you did the work. You spoke it enough. You believed it enough. You affirmed it enough. And so shall it be. So, you guys, I hope that this is helpful for you today. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. Oh, my goodness, my ears. <clears throat> I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. If you are in need of a reading or would just desire to check in with yourself, my readings right now are 33% off. Um, all in on my website, use the code glad tiding, and you guys have a beautiful day. Bye.